my PU2 champions. So yes, you know that the PU2 board exams date sheet is already out, right? And now the question bank is also out, model question papers are also out and blueprint is also out. So in this video, <coughs> first of all, uh, my dear children, I'm very, very sorry for the voice. I've got a bit cold. So that is why please adjust with this. Okay, now let's see. In this video, I'm going to discuss the blueprint of chemistry. Okay, so here we will talk about which chapters are very, very important, uh, like whether it is different from the last year or not so we will just analyze the blueprint and I'll tell you like how to uh, like how to uh, divide your time to complete the chemistry syllabus okay so first of all let's see the question pattern is same where you have part a is one marker questions okay let me is it uh, zoom it so that we can see properly yeah so you will have part a 20 questions here we will have 15 mcqs and 5 fill in the blanks uh, part b will be two markers where there will be five questions part c and part e both will have three marker questions so part c will have total 15 questions okay and part d will be having six questions each question is of five marks here right so now what you uh, have to see the question pattern okay so now see from solutions what it is uh, given in the blueprint according to that from the chapter solutions there will be total 12 marks that is what you will be expecting how is this 12 marks distributed okay so there will be three mcq or like i can, I can say three one marker question there will be three three marker question okay so three into three nine and then there will be uh, nine plus three twelve so now here you can see that in the part e that is in numerical we have three physical chemistry chapters so two numericals from each you can expect so out of these three questions one question one will be theory and two will be numerical most probably okay now moving to the next question electrochemistry here we have uh, weightage is 13 here and you have one mcq okay one marker mcq and you have four questions in the three marker section so how uh, we it will be divided again you will have two questions of numericals and two questions for theory right and next moving to chemical kinetics this also has 12 mark of weightage one mark you will get in your uh, mcq and the rest three questions here will also be two numerical and one theory okay so if you see th here it is uh, just a minute okay one more question here also we will have in the two marker section kinetics will have one question so three into three nine here we have 10 11 and 12 here you have four threes are 12 plus 1 13 okay like this the mark is divided for the physical chemistry questions okay now moving forward to inorganic chemistry you have first chapter dnf block 12 marks sorry 10 marks will be from dnf block how it is distributed two marker will be mcq one marker will be one two marker question and yes we will have two questions in the three marker section okay so two into three six seven eight and then nine ten now coming to coordination compounds you have 11 marks total here you will have two questions in the mcq or one marker section you have three questions in the three marker section so here in, uh, in this part uh, c actually if you remember uh, there will be two sections okay first will be inorganic chemistry three marker questions and then there will be physical chemistry three marker questions so in this inorganic chemistry there will be five questions three will be from coordination and two will be from your uh, dnf block and in physical chemistry there will be four questions in the three marker section so you will have two questions from electrochemistry one from solution and one from chemical kinetics okay so that is how it is distributed and it was last year also it was same hello elkins and hello arins have nine marks out of which two marks will be mcq one mark will be two marker question and yes you will get one five marker question here and generally this question is from mechanisms and all now next we have alcohols phenols and ethers here the weightage is 10 marks and you will get three questions in the part a one question in two marker and one question in five marker Next, we have aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid. Here, the total weightage is 12 marks. You will have two questions in one marker section and you will have two questions in the five marker section. 
Now moving to Amin's, we have seven questions, two markers in the uh, one marker section and one question in the five marker section. So out of this, you can see 10 marks you will be getting from aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid alone. Okay. So be very sure to prepare this question, this chapter properly. Now biomolecules, if you see, you have nine marks. Two questions will be there in your uh, uh, MCQ section or I can say one marker section. One question will be there in two marker section and one question will be there in the five marker section. So if I tell you total in this, the five organic chemistry chapters are there. Their total weightage, if I just add, will have uh, 9, 10, 11 plus 18, 18 plus 9, 27, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so almost 47 marks will be coming from your organic chemistry. Okay, just check the addition, it might be for. Then we have almost 10 plus 11, that is 21 marks from your inorganic chemistry, and you will have 28 marks in your physical chemistry. Okay, sorry, 3, 2, 5, 6, 7, 37. Okay, I'll just change this one. Sorry. Yeah, so you will have uh, 7, 37 marks in your what physical chemistry okay so this is how the marks are distribution so obviously first you need to focus on organic chemistry physical chemistry inorganic chemistry also okay so so you can see here that you need to attempt three questions in section uh, b okay so number of questions will be uh, five and you have to attempt three 15 you have to attempt 8 and out of 6 you have to attempt 4 okay so that is how is the blueprint and yes the link of this will be given in the description section please go and check and just understand how is this pattern how can it how can you shape your preparation your uh, like i can say 60 70 days of next preparation how can you channelize based on the weightage of the chapters okay so that's all in this video my dear children thank you so much and all the best